Hello guys and welcome to episode 2 of my Burning Baltics campaign in Stone Division 2 playing on the Soviet side. Today we're going to be defending against the 31st Panzer Regiment. We had an explosive start to the campaign up here though in the previous episode with the 1372nd Rifle Regiment defending against Panzerverband's Strachwitz. It was an insane battle so definitely go check that out, it was awesome. Uh, but now we're going to be doing a similar thing down here. 31st Panzer Regiment. Loads of Panthers, loads of Panzer Fours. They've even got Vespers and Hummels, which are going to be pretty hard to deal with. Then behind that, they've got Group Herzog, which comes with like a loads of Grilla. Grilla are actually really good now uh, because they maintain their 2000 meter range in the range rework. Um, they've got loads of two-star Panzergrens, which come in half-tracks, I believe. At least some of them do, half of them do. And they've also got Group Freidwig, Freidrich, which also comes with more Panz uh, Panther A's and so on. It's going to be nuts. It's just going to actually be crazy. So what I'm probably going to want to do is bring in... Oh, we'll have the 276th first. We'll bring in the AT Regiment, so we actually have like enough AT guns to deal with this. Although they are somewhat going to not be as good. I, I could also just bring in this actually. This might be a better idea to just do this. So I've got enough infantry on the ground because my ultimate plan is to bring in air. I will have a bunch of AA. They do have some SDK FZ7-1s and some Gepards. Uh, this unit, does they have any AA? Nope. Uh, what about this unit? No. Okay, that's good. So they only have seven pieces of AA which we can probably overwhelm with IL-2s if I play it smart. So I think what I'm going to do, we're going to bring in both of these, the 276th Rifle Regiment and the 324th Rifle Regiment. They do lack AT options, um, but they've got a lot of small AT, and they've also got like a lot of Straki. And Straki with like the HE, or the Heat, sorry, in the early phase, probably better for me to have against the 31st than um, the actual AT options. So... I think what I'm going to do is we're just going to bring in AT aircraft and we're going to just try and push them really, really fast early on because we're going to out completely outnumber them unless they bring in aircraft, which I don't think they can because we are covered by AA. So I just need to find out whichever one has the best AT options. Pretty sure it is this one. We'll bring in these guys to help us deal with the Panthers. I just want to double check though before we jump in if there's anywhere else that I might have to worry about. I don't think they're going to attack us from this direction, though. Uh, like from Liga. I don't think that's going to happen. Most of the attacks are going to be coming in from this side, so I guess the only one down is down here. The Tigers. Ooh. The Tigers from the uh, Großdeutschland uh, might come and attack the 82nd. These are very high veterancy units. That's nice. Okay. So we'll keep it as is. That's fine. Uh, let's tactical battle and jump on in. Like, having IL-2s at my disposal is so nice. It's so nice. I went through the entirety of the Yash campaign with my IL-2s being bugged uh, because I started the campaign, like, pre-release. And, yeah, <laughs> I couldn't use them for the entire campaign. It really slowed things down big time. So, uh, exactly what we thought was coming in. So, we've got the 31st Panzer Regiment in Phase A, and then Group Friedrich and Group Herzog in Phase B. So, I just want to charge them. That's pretty much what I'm going to do. We're just going to throw a load of uh, snipers, or not snipers, <laughs> Starkey at them. Throwing snipers at them would be uh, some <laughs> quite something. I am going to deploy like a couple of AT guns like further back, just in case. This goes really, really bad. We're going to make sure that they are only able to fire at a thousand meters. Because that's their effective range. Okay, so that'll do. Uh, on the open areas, it might be quite difficult. I am going to want to have these IL-2s and probably these IL-2s at the start. And then we're going to want to have like a bunch of Straki ready to kind of like take the ground ASAP. So we're going to do this and we're going to have all of these just dive up into here. I might have one of them 
like stay in their transport in the back garden. Here I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do this. Like we could just have like a bunch of Soraki move up here. I'm going to do Soraki into here as well. Okay, and we'll do Soraki into here. And I'm going to do another four next to those. I'm going to have these zoom up to here. Okay, and with those I might put some leaders. Not that it's going to help that much, but... We'll do it anyway. Cool. Uh, on this left hand side I might drop a couple of avtos in here. Uh, let's just unload these from the start. I'll give them attack orders just to go and hide in the trees up here. I could do the same here as well. Honestly, now I think about it, I don't think this is a good idea. It could be an interesting strategy. It's at the start of this game, not worry too much about the tanks, just hide loads of avtos in the trees and then allow the other units to come in. And then when they do come in in phase B, they're just going to throw loads of panzergrens into avtos. But it's really risky because we could get overwhelmed. Since they're coming in in phase B, I think they actually get more income than we do in phase B overall. And we'll continue to have for the rest of the game. So, well, they do anyway because they're hard AI as well. So, yeah, I, I would rather not risk it. I think we'll just take care of the Panthers and then we can mess around with the other two groups afterwards. All right, let's do it. This could go really badly, so uh, do bear with me. <laughs> this is a very, very risky strategy. If this, like, if I lose too much stuff initially, we're, like, really, really in the shitter. Like, yeah, this isn't, yeah. All right, let's get these unloaded. Lost one Straki so far. It's not too bad. Uh, might have these continue. Uh, might have these continue. Actually, that's not. Ah, uh, that's a gear pod. Okay, it's fine. Oh, I didn't mean to evac it. Oops. It's fine. Uh, what I'll do then, I'll bring all of these over here. Because I'll have the IL-2 over here. Or the IL-2 leader here. I'm going to split these up. And unload them. Actually, I'll just unload them now so they don't get sniped while I'm not paying attention. Okay, let's target the Panther, we'll target Hans 4, target the Vespa, target that Vespa. I probably didn't have to waste two on that. That's fine, I could have microed that so they hit the mark a bit better there. We're actually holding every flag. I did the Vespa like direct fire. I feel like it did. <laughs> That's rude. Let's get these IL-2s in here. I will fly my this IL-2 over this side. Just hang him around here. I leave one of these here. The other two can keep pushing through because we're going to want to be able to see where it shoots in at. Right, these are pioneers. Alright. Interesting. Probably gonna have to get a bomber at least. Right, I don't really want to do anything about those then. Let's come over here. Wait, did I miss the grenade? Probably not. <laughs> I think we did. Ridiculous. I'm gonna have one of these go for the Vespa. Uh, the other two can just keep heading this direction. 
Kill the Gepard. Be another four units here. Start pushing up on them a bit. Have this move up on the left there. Nice, good kill. Let's get a bomber in just to kill the pioneer squad. And I think I'll have these two come over here and just dunk this panther. Alright, so we captured that land spawn. That's good. Uh, we need to capture this land spawn and this one, and then we should be okay. I'll keep this flying on the left so I can bring in my LTs. Uh, we're going to want to make sure we can actually see that before we go in for the rocket strike. Mm, saying that, I might not need to. Uh, let's go for the Panzer IV. Maybe the Kubel as well. Because I think this can just AT grenade the, uh, the Panther. Wait, why did they break off before they landed their rockets? That's weird. Hmm. Alright, well we've nearly ta take, taken that. We've nearly taken this. Let's just push across the open here. A bit risky with Avtos, but it'll be alright. Yeah, this is the only flag. Only one that they can bring stuff in now. It's fine. Uh, we'll have this IL-2 to strafe these. And these can stop running across the open because there's a panther in the way. <laughs> That's not ideal. Alright. Oh, guess we're not going anywhere with that. Let's just move these up. They can't reinforce there because it's a recon Avclada. It's not holding the front line. We need to hold the one on the left and then we're good. So let's bring in some IL-2s. Napalm that to death maybe. A bomb on it, just a good measure as well. The Panzer IVs are actually more scary than the Alcala Panzer. Or oh, sorry, the Panzer IVs are more scary than Panthers because they do more damage with the HG. Only slightly, but it certainly does make a difference over time. need to get this over and done with for phase B. Didn't quite do the job. Would have been nice if it did, but alas. Or did I have to bomb that again? I might just strafe the gap to death actually. Ooh, we lost a Straki. Not good. Probably to the Afrola Panzer IV. Okay, good. We pinned it down at least. Moving my Avtos up to the edge so we can get eyes on stuff. As of those leave, this can come up. And what else could we use? We'll just keep bringing in more of these, I think. I've got all of these IL-2s that can come in as well now. Nice, good bombing strike. Is that how glad our punts are still going? <laughs> Just like slowly killing my <laughs> my imposter while I'm not paying attention. <laughs> ah, 
Oh, here we go, the IL-2 strike. Oh, that's gonna be so nasty. Absolutely annihilated. You can imagine. <laughs> it happened again. If I was paying attention, we could definitely do something about that, but looks like we've got the victory. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid pens of war. Alright. <laughs> it wasn't so bad. It wasn't so bad. 8 minutes, 46 seconds. Good job. Lost some Straki there. Sucks, but... Oh well. So we lost 5 Straki in total. They lost 8 Panthers in that attack and the 3 Vespers. Killing the artillery is actually really handy for the long run. And also the, uh, the AA there. We didn't actually do too much damage though, so this is potentially going to do quite a lot of damage to us next time around. Although we did disorganize the Panthers, so I can probably just wipe them out. It might be worth uh, YOLOing a reg rifle regiment forwards to kill those. Is it our turn? Nope. We're still moving stuff. So going up this highway is going to be rather difficult, isn't it? Hopefully they don't set up the AA though. One thing I'm going to have to be super careful with is actually utilizing my air in my turn. Like maybe not trying to use as much because I think defensively on this side I definitely need it more. So I'm kind of like unsure how to break through here. It's quite well defended. What happened there? Something happened on this left hand side. Is it our turn? It is our turn. Okay. Uh, right. So, first things first, we're going to want to wipe out some of these. I could in fact just straight up attack here. But I'm going to assume there's going to be more behind. I think my best bet is probably just to destroy this one. And then kind of move away. And we kind of pull this back onto the road. I'm going to bombard this actually. And then I'm going to pull these back to here. Next turn, we'll dig those in on the road. Uh, this kind of needs to be there. Let's see, this front line is like so sketchy. These guys are pretty good though. I kind of need to push these up for the time being. Just so that I can kind of scout where enemy units are coming from. Like there's a small group of troops. Oh, that's actually some Lithuanian troops. Interesting. I'm gonna move this unit down then. And these mechanized brigades are pretty nice. Let's move one up here. And I might also move the recon up here as well. Move up the mortar regiment. That mortar regiment can actually dig in. Interesting. Don't know if uh, we need anything up here. Might be worth just moving that tight into the defense. Honestly, it might be better to just have this 1,372nd defend that flank. Because it's the one that's like really damaged. Whereas like the concentration on the road here would be better if we just had some stuff nearby. What else can we do? Yeah, this unit could move over here to help out. I don't think I'll need it down here. We've got lots of tanks. These are actually KV-85s. Uh, destroying this unit would be ideal. How are we going to do that though? Like I could attack it with this unit. And then if they counterattack, I leave that with three action points.
Goodbye, Panthers. <laughs> oh, that's so cheesy. All right. <laughs> that's fine. Uh, let's bombard uh, one of these. Grip Herzog. And we'll keep the AA there, of course. These guys need to start digging in. And I'm kind of tempted to have these on the flank as well. Dig in. We might just dig them in here. I don't really need to push, but I might do at some point. These guys can start moving through. I'm going to bring over one of these units here. This location. Got a swamp here. Being hit hard down here. Uh, that's a lot of stuff. He can attack straight into my a hey, like artillery. That's not good. All right, we'll have to break that one down. I think this might be an attack we have to make into the fourteenth. We could bring in a some IL twos just to crush this early, and then I can use that to move the eighty fourth guards in the way of the artillery, because then I can utilize the artillery to bombard the pan. Panthers or the Tigers. Stop them from coming in. These both need to dig in. But they can't ever reinforce one another. This is crazy. There's just so much armor there to worry about. Let's do this attack. Uh, I'll bring in those... I don't know if I want to bring in the AT, because it's they're going to be pretty crucial for defending the front here. I don't want to lose this flag. Just moving that up slightly. Get that AA down. I could do that here as well, actually. Move it across slightly. Okay. This should be fine. I want a second unit in in this battle. Mainly to just give me enough to bring in or like a lot of aircraft early, because then we can do what we did to the Panthers. A swift and decisive counter attack. Hmm. I'm just looking at the 14th Panzer Division HQ. They do have these AT8s, which are going to be very difficult for me to break down with IL2s, because if they bring in enough of them, they'll pin down every IL2 before they even get close. These guys do have some Messikev Zeds and Gepards, but enough that we can overwhelm them. It would have to be early on. So... Maybe I have to bring in... And these are going to be attacked anyway, right? So, and they're not going to have defenses next turn regardless. So maybe I could just bring them in to reinforce. And just not actually use the units. Then when they do get attacked, we'll still have this unit behind to reinforce in phase A. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that, actually. That seems smart. Let's do this and this. That one will then push into there. We'll bring in some aircraft. Probably going to go for Buster AP. Let's see. I'm going to want to keep at least a couple of these. Three. So we can use one, I think, for now. Let me use this one. Tactical battle. We'll jump on in. 
But the other nice thing about bringing in the two infantry units in this battle is that if we if it does get to phase B and we have to deal with the other forces, then we should be fine. Like we should be able to hold our ground. It's going to be a standard conquest battle, so we're not going to be able to cheese it as easily. But I'm definitely going to try and push as hard as fast as I can against these Panzer Fours. We've got a lot of like two star Gavardia. Let's just have them come in and spread out on this front line. They are going to probably arrive before like anything does that can snipe them. So, should be okay. I'm going to dot a few snipers around as well. Alright, let's have these push for the bottom of this ridge. And, yeah, these can do the same. We're just going to have one back here for now. Okay. Alright, let's uh, go ahead and bring in one of these snipers at, with each squad to make sure that we got eyes on the Panzer Fours initially and then we can think about breaking through. I might also bring like a couple AT guns on this side actually. It's going to be pretty close range fighting. So most of it's going to be IL-2s you can do cluster IL-2s at the start Alright, let's just launch it. I'll save a few points just in case. But we're going to bring out the IL-2s. Hopefully we can catch them in convoys. We can get some really good value out of these cluster bombs. Okay. Nice. Not too bad. I could have realigned those to make them hit better. But we killed some important units there, so that's good. Gonna keep these moving up. Doesn't seem like there's much on that side. Let's unload these. And then pushing forwards. Uh, one thing I'm probably going to do actually is just get my IL-2s to come over here and we'll do it basically in line with like where the tanks are. Let's move that back. He's pushing. Get. Mm, that wasn't ideal. I was hoping to be able to like triple those, but it's fine. I finally bring in a flag. In a flag. It's actually only two minutes until victory anyway. Oh, 
Wow, so the one of the IL-2s managed to like one-shot the Panzer IV and the other ones has failed. That's really hard there. Let's see if we could use some like rockets on this Stug IV to kill it off. Alright, start walking forwards with the Cavadia. I'm gonna keep the sniper here. Go on, ILTs. There you go. Those are some pretty big rockets. Like 132 of my rockets are pretty, pretty nasty. Let's see, IL2, get the recon over here. Captured all the reinforcement points on the left. Need to get a few bombers and we'll just bomb these IL-4s into, or sorry, the Panzer 4s into oblivion. And then again, I should probably have one go for the flag. Bombs away! Nice. Very nice. That's pretty much perfect. No chance. And even without the IL-2s here, I think we still would have been okay. It's just the IL-2s make this so much easier. Good to be on the offensive though. Total victory. Absolutely annihilated. Maybe that will just destroy the unit entirely. That'd be good if it did. I don't think we maybe did enough damage to do so, but we'll see. Nope. Alright, that's fine. Since they go first, it means they get their action points replenished at the end of every turn, so... These can still technically attack. These didn't actually lose all of their points, which is interesting. Hmm. So we'll bombard. Does it really matter which one? It might be better to just bombard maybe the Panzergrens. The Grossdeutschland Panzergren unit. Those are Fusiliers. There are some more back there, but that'll be like phase B at least. If I just take these ones out, then maybe we could just ambush the tanks. Yeah, we'll bombard that one. I think that's the smarter play. Uh, this one might still get hit by a bunch of stuff here, but we should be able to reinforce that okay. Uh, these we're going to have push across here. And I guess the AA can come with those. Are these also going down here? If they are, they might be fine. Uh, let's bring these over though. Get this over here. Big old AA. Uh, I might move this AA up. Okay. What about this unit? What do they have? SU 76s. Hmm. Sure. Oh. I could, like, easily send these up, but I'm curious if we can just get around the bottom side of this map, honestly. So, uh, let's move these up. Okay. So this is looking okay ish. I'm probably going to bring my howitzers over here to support this front just so that I can bombard two units a turn. Up here. 
We're looking all right as well. This one's in a bit of a bad spot, but hopefully if it gets attacked, this one can attack in phase A. If it can't, then we're kind of screwed there, but that's fine. It was worth killing the Panthers for. Uh, this one can move this way. I really don't know what to do with the Ninth Guards mechanized. I think the Ninth Guards mech coming down to this point here would be okay, but... Also, at the same time, it, it would be great for just overpowering any uh, battle groups that we find towards Saldus. So, I think we'll head in this direction. I need more stuff to head up towards Tukums, for sure. That'll probably be the third guard's mechanized core HQ doing that. And also, we definitely need AA up here, so I'm going to move that up. And the AT. Cool. All right, we're going to move this forward a little bit. Play the AA. What are these guys composed of? Grenadiers, SS Shupo. That's a pretty, pretty awful army. Hmm. There is some decent AA though. And this is more security forces. Grenadiers with MG 26s and Citadelungs, but they do have some ad hoc Panzers. Hmm. Captain T-34s and stuff in there. I'm just trying to work out what would be best to attack with in our situation here. I guess the 1116th would be fine. We can get my artillery forwards as well. We can like bombard the one behind so that we only have to deal with one unit in phase A. We're going to do this. Ooh, that's uh, a bunch of tanks. Stugs. Ditterlungs. Lots of Stugs. Interesting. I'll bring up the AT afterwards, I think. I think I'll probably have to bombard this one. And we'll have to do like a breakthrough against uh, all these bunkers. Going to be nasty. That's going to be a really, really tough fight on that top side. But if we could break through there, I think it'd be pretty good for us. Like, we'd probably do pretty... Uh, we'd get like a lot of ground by doing that. Here, I don't know if there's any attacks to be made. Like, we could certainly try and get across here. And do I have enough artillery to, like, make this one-sided? Probably. So I'd have to bombard this unit and this unit. And then we'd have to go through the defenses of this unit before this unit arrives. Technically, they'd arrive in phase B, right? But if we could crack in there and break the defenses, that would actually be really, really good for us. I do have the... Ooh. <laughs> IS-2s behind. Oh, boy. That's fun. Move them up. They can arrive in phase B. This is also a... Very big force of units. ISU 122s, 152s. I haven't actually had a chance to look at any of the reinforcements yet. Have a quick look at these. This is just guards, rifles. These are all super high vet. Wow. And the 19th guards tank corps. The 19th tank corps, sorry, not 19th guards. Bunch of T-34s. Engineers. 19th Tank Corps HQ. Nice. It's good. Yep, they all look nice. What about the 5th Guards Tank Army? I bet this is going to be pretty crazy. Bunch of T-34s and a standard recon unit. More T-34s. Uh, this one has some of the M10s. That's cool. 
This one's Sherman's. Yep, that one's Sherman's. This one is more Sherman's. This one is the ISU-152s and SU-76s. That's cool. And then we've got the 47th Guards mech. They also come with Katyushas. I'd like to see some Andalusias somewhere. There might be some on the map that I haven't seen yet. A lot of AA. Don't think we'll need AA in the late game though. Interesting. Well, there's plenty more to do in our turn. I think we are done here. Pretty much my left flank is, is all moved up. I'm, I think I'm going to move these guys in though. So these are all kind of moved on this side. I might send some more stuff from the center here down this way to help with that flag. But ultimately we're going to have to start making our attacks on Tariga. So that's going to be quite fun, especially across this bridge. Uh, but that's it for now. I'm going to leave it here. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode. Uh, the initial uh, attack wasn't as heavy as I would have thought and... Uh, we did manage to destroy the Panthers because of that, so that was really, really good. But yeah, we'll continue with our attacks and it should get really fun. Alright, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.